Chapter 7 Structural Organization in Animals Tissue A group of similar cells along with intercellular substances perform a specific function which is known as tissue. When two or more organs perform a common function by their physical and or chemical interaction, they together form organ system. Complex animal consists of four basic types of tissues, namely epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and neural tissue. Epithelial tissue The cells are compactly packed with little intercellular matrix. There are two types of epithelial tissue. First, simple epithelium and second, compound epithelium. Simple epithelium consists of a single layer of cells and functions as lining for body cavities, ducts and tubes. Simple epithelium is of three types, squamous, cuboidal and columnar. Squamous epithelium consists of single thin layer of flattened cells with irregular boundaries. Squamous epithelium is found in walls of blood vessels and air sacs of lungs and are involved in function like forming a diffusion boundary. Cuboidal epithelium is single layer of cube-like cells which is found in ducts of gland and tubular parts of nephron in kidney, epithelium of PCT as microvilli and cuboidal epithelium function as secretion and absorption. Columnar epithelium consists of a single layer of tall and slender cells of which their nuclei are located at the base and free surface may have microvilli. Columnar epithelium is found in lining of stomach and intestine and help in secretion and absorption. If the columnar or cuboidal cells bear cilia on their surface, they are known as ciliated epithelium. Ciliated epithelium's function is to move particle or mucus in a specific direction over epithelium. Ciliated epithelium's inner surface of hollow organs like bronchioles and fallopian tubes. Some of the columnar or cuboidal cells get specialized for secretion and are called glandular epithelium which may be unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular glandular epithelium consists of isolated glandular cells of alimentary canal. Multicellular glandular epithelium consists of clusters of cells of salivary gland. On the basis of mode of pouring their secretions, glands are divided into two categories, first exocrine and second endocrine. Exocrine glands have ducts of which secretions are mucus, saliva, ear wax, oil, milk, digestive enzymes and other cell products which are released through ducts or tubes. Endocrine glands do not have ducts. Their products also known as hormones are secreted directly into the fluid bathing the gland. Compound epithelium Compound epithelium is made up of more than one layer therefore it is multi-layered of cells and thus has a limited role in secretion and absorption. Compound epithelium's main function is to provide protection against chemical and mechanical stresses. Compound epithelium is found in dry surface of skin, moist surface of buccal cavity, pharynx, inner lining of ducts of salivary gland and of pancreatic ducts. All cells in epithelium are held together with little intercellular material. In nearly all animals, specialized junction provide both structural and functional links between its individual cells. Three types of cell junctions are found in the epithelium and other tissues which are tight, adhering and gap junction. Tight junction help substances to stop leaking across a tissue. Adhering junctions perform cementing to keep neighboring cells together. Gap junctions facilitate the cells to communicate with each other by connecting the cytoplasm of adjoining cells for rapid transfer of ions, small molecules and sometimes big molecules. Connective tissue 
connective tissue is the most abundant and widely distributed tissue in the body of complex animals. Connective tissue names as connective tissue because of their special functions of linking and supporting other tissues and organs of the body. Specialized connective tissues are cartilage, bone, adipose and blood. In all connective tissues except blood, the cells secrete fibers of structural proteins called collagen or elastin. The fibers provide strength, elasticity and flexibility. These cells also secrete modified polysaccharides which accumulate between cells and fibers and act as matrix, also known as ground substance. Loose connective tissues Cells and fibers are loosely arranged in a semi-fluid ground substance. Loose connective tissue consists of areolar tissue and adipose tissue. Areolar tissue is present beneath the skin serves as support framework for epithelium. Areolar tissue contains fibroblast cells that produce and secrete fibers, macrophage and mast cells. Adipose tissue consists of cells which are specialized to store fats. The excess of nutrients which are not used immediately are converted into fats and are stored in this tissue. Dense connective tissue Dense connective tissue, fibers and fibroblasts are commonly and compactly packed. Orientation of fibers show a regular or irregular pattern and are called dense regular and dense irregular tissues respectively. Dense regular connective tissue. The collagen fibers are present in rows between many parallel bundles of fibers. Dense regular connective tissues are tendons and ligaments. Tendons attach skeletal muscles to bones and ligaments attach one bone to another. Dense irregular connective tissue. Fibroblasts and many fibers, mainly collagen, that are oriented differently. This is present beneath the skin. Specialized connective tissue consists of cartilage, bone and blood. Cartilage Intercellular material is solid and pliable and resist compression. Cells of cartilage chondrocytes are enclosed in small cavities within the matrix secreted by them. Most of the cartilages in vertebrate embryos are replaced by bones in adult. Cartilage is present in tip of nose, outer ear joints, between adjacent bones of vertebral column, limbs and hands in adults. Bones are hard and non-pliable ground substance rich in calcium salts and collagen fibers which give strength and, and the bones are the main tissue that provide structural frame to the body. Bones support and protect softer tissues and organs. The bone cells osteocytes present in the spaces called leukemia. Limb bones such as long bones of the legs serve weight bearing function. Bones also interact with the skeletal muscles attached to them to bring about movements. The bone marrow in some bones is the site of production of blood cells. Blood Fluid connective tissue containing plasma, RBC, WBC and platelets. It is a main circulating fluid that helps in the transport of various substances. Muscle tissue. Each muscle is made up of many long cylindrical fibers arranged in parallel array. These fibers are composed of numerous fine fibrils called myofibrils. Muscles may be skeletal, smooth or cardiac. Skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are closely attached to the skeletal bones. In the typical muscles such as the biceps, striated skeletal fibers are bundled together in a parallel fashion. A sheath of tough connective tissue encloses several bundles of muscle fibers. Smooth muscle Smooth muscles taper at both ends, fusiform, and do not show striations. Cell junction 
hold them together and they are bundled together in a connective tissue sheath smooth muscles are wall of internal organs such as blood vessels stomach and intestine contains this type of muscle tissue smooth muscles are involuntary cardiac tissue contractile tissue present only in the heart cell junction fuse the plasma membranes of cardiac muscle cells and make them stick together communication junctions intercalated discs at some fusion points allow the cells to contract as a unit that is when one cell receives a signal to contract its neighbors are also stimulate to contract neural tissues neural tissues exert the greatest control over the body's responsiveness to changing conditions neurons the unit of neural system are the excitable cells the neuroglial cells which constitute rest of the neural system protect and support neurons neuroglia make up more than one half the volume of neural tissue in the body when a neuron is suitably stimulated an electrical disturbance is generated which swiftly travels along its plasma membrane arrival of the disturbance at neurons endings or output zone triggers events that may cause stimulation or inhibition of adjacent neurons and other cells organ and organ system the basic tissues mentioned above organized to form organs which in turn associate to form organ systems in the multicellular organisms such an organization is essential for more efficient and better coordinated activities of millions of cells constituting an organism each organ in our body is made up of one or more type of tissues for example our heart consists of all the four types of tissues that is epithelial connective muscular and neural we also notice after some careful study that the complexity in organ and organ system displays certain discernible trend this discernible trend is called evolutionary trend you are being introduced to morphology and anatomy of three organisms of different evolutionary levels to show their organization and functioning morphology refers to the study of form or externally visible structures in the case of plants or microbes the term morphology precisely means only this in case of animals this refers to external appearance of the organs or parts of the body the word anatomy conventionally is used for the study of morphology of internal organs in the animals you will learn the morphology and anatomy of cockroach representing invertebrate